Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to get your house ready for summers. You also have to uh, change your furnace filter. So usually the recommendation is every three months or two to two half months if you have uh, pets or there's a construction going on outside. Also, as your furnace uh, runs whole winter and there are high chances that by this time uh, the filter will be dirty. So if uh, you're almost completing three months, then just inspect your filter by opening the flap here and take out your filter if you think that filter is kind of dirty, so change it or if you already complete the timeline. So uh, to replace it, choose your own filter of your choice. I will be posting another video in detail about uh, the rating of the filters. So you can watch that one. And uh, also make sure you, you reinstall the same size filter and the size on the filter, the old filter will have the size written on it and you can buy the new ones uh, with the same size. Also, uh, keep one thing in mind that on the filter there will be an airflow arrow. You have to follow that uh, uh, sign. So by that means, so always a furnace uh, airflow is from the duct system towards the furnace. Usually a builder puts a sticker to show the airflow, but if your house is two, three years, maybe there are chances that that sticker might fade off. So just make sure that the airflow goes from your duct towards the furnace and your uh, filter has the sign, so you follow the same instructions on that. Now, uh, you also have to clean your HRV filter, which is recommended to be done every three months, but just double check if the filter is clean or not. So you just need to open the, the locks from the top. So there are two locks on both sides, then the door will open. And there are two filters on the top. So just take them out, clean them. If they're too dirty, then uh, you can wash them. If they are like little dusty, then you can just vacuum it and put them back. And also you can vacuum this unit to remove any extra debris in it. And then you can lock it back. The next step you need to take is, first you have to switch your humidifier from winter setting to summer. And then also open your flap and inspect your fill, uh, humidifier pad. So if it's too calcified, then replace it. I will be posting another video for that. And then also on your humidifier, you can uh, reduce your humidity because in summer with the rain, you will be, uh, your, your house will be having already extra moisture. So you can leave it around 25 or so and, and you'll be good for that. Also your furnace uh, have a condensate uh, line, your humidifier has the same, and then your HRV system. You don't have to do uh, much of a maintenance here, but uh, once in a while, maybe once in a year, you can clean them. Just use a 50% uh, vinegar and 50% warm water and drain it. And it will clean all the debris in the pipes, or you can uh, buy a Drano or some chemicals from uh, hardware stores and you can use it. So these lines stay clear of any debris. So the, uh, the water draining from your furnace uh, system or humidifier or HRV directly drains out. Now, uh, you also have to inspect some pump before all the snow start melting because uh, some pump will be draining uh, all the all the foundation uh, whipping tile water. So make sure you properly check it. So there are two different kind of sump pumps. So I will explain this one first and then I'll go to the second one. So in this one, just open the cover here. And if you if you see here, the uh, wire wire is only one. So the other model has two. So I'll talk about that as well. So in the model, which only have one plug in wire in this one, you have to test a sump pump with the float uh, that is inside the uh, sump pump. So now once your uh, sump pump uh, cover is open, you can see the sump pump motor here and then there is the float. So to test it, you simply need to uh, pull up your float here. So once it's raised, it will turn on the sump pump. If you hear the motor running, that means your sump pump is good and you don't have to worry about uh, it. But just make sure 
when it starts uh, raining and snow is properly melting just come uh, into the basement uh, once in a while and and take a peek now this is the uh, the another type of sump pump in which you can see there are two wires coming out of the sump pump motor in this one uh, the main this wire is for your sump pump motor and the middle connector is for your float sensor that when your sump pump tank fills up with the water like 60 70 percent it automatically supplies power to the sump pump for it to start and drain out the water so to test this sump pump you need to directly plug in sump pump wire into the outlet and you can hear the sound of the sump pump running that means it's working fine and now you can reconnect this and plug it into your outlet. Also uh, you can test it in the same way as you do the other sump pump uh, that by opening all the screws uh, on the box and then by raising the float and then your sump pump will run as well. So now in terms of your HRV uh, wall panels, there are certain settings that you can uh, use. So the in terms of the fan, it can be two, three or four, it doesn't matter much. Then for the uh, automatic ventilation modes, you can either do 10 minutes per hour ventilation and 50 minutes per hour standby option, or you can use 20 minutes uh, ventilation and 40 minutes standby option. And then in terms of the RH value, you need to put it to a zero so your dehumidity stat option doesn't work so you have to go all the way to 60 and put it off so now this number will be automatically uh, taking readings for your moisture inside the house also if you see a ranch sign which is a maintenance sign for your HRV filter uh, clean your HRV filter and to reset it just shut this HRV off and then when you're turning it on back hold this button for four to five seconds and then it will reset the maintenance setting And in this model of thermostat uh, you will just need to change your uh, option from heating to cooling if you have AC then you can just press the system button or you can leave it at heat and then lower the temperature here to 18 degrees and uh, your furnace won't run if your house temperature falls till 18 but as soon as it falls below then it will automatically run and then you can also use this fan option and put it to on if you want to continuously uh, run fan for your furnace this won't help much but bring down the temperature of your house a little bit Now for your thermostat, uh, once the weather goes to plus 15 or 20 and if you don't want to use your furnace system then you can put the system to off mode and then if you have AC then you can go to cool mode and then uh, program or manually set your uh, thermostat. I won't be explaining that in detail but on the right top corner I will click, uh, I will add the video for this thermostat in detail that how you can program it and how you control this uh, thermostat. Then also if you don't want to put your uh, furnace to completely off because sometimes still during the night the weather may uh, go a bit cold and your house temperature may fall so what you can do is just keep it on heat mode and you can reduce the temperature here to like 18 or 17 uh, depending on your choice and as soon as your house temperature falls below that it will automatically run your uh, heating system then also there is uh, this fan button that is on auto right now because uh, whenever your furnace needs it it can run but you can also use or, or you can also put it to own mode uh, even if you don't like if you don't have AC then if you put fan mode to on your furnace will be continuously running the fan so when the temperature is about 25 30 and you want to ventilate and cool down your house a bit this may help to to cool down your house few degrees it won't be a lot but yeah it will it will help a little bit Now uh, we will talk about how to inspect your windows and screen. So the first is uh, check the locks if they are properly 
uh, working so they should unlock and uh, lock very easily and then just unlock your window and then slide it few times uh, open and close it so if it's running smoothly that's that's the one step that it's perfectly good then also inspect for uh, some rust marks on the on the drain cap so what happens is the slider window have a uh, roller uh, on the bottom so that the window can move easily so especially after winter when uh, continuous uh, like ice or water stays under the window frame here so the roller starts getting rusted and they will leave stains here so what you can do is just use a wd-40 spray it leave it for a few minutes and use a paper towel to clean it and also inspect your uh, screen so if you see there are uh, two clips on the top and bottom so you can just hold them to properly engage and then check all the uh, corners of the screen so if it's good then you are good to go for summer if there is any issue with your window uh, slider or the screen uh, contact window company so that they can provide you service thanks for watching the video Hope this video will help you to get your house ready for the summer. If you like the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.